We have another very important choice to make here in Dying Light 2. It's whether or not you want to save the life, kill, or leave in a coma Ator, the commander of the Peacekeepers in the first section of the game. There's many different choices to make, and depending on the choices you do make here, he may tell Jack Matt, the leader of the Peacekeepers, what you did in the bazaar. Even if you did side with Sophie, though, that doesn't preclude you from any missions. Jack just gets very, very mad, and it is interesting to see how this game progresses. Medic, hurry! Fuck, that's Major Matt. Something's happened. Make room! Clear the way! He's bleeding out! Fuck! Oh Hater's in really bad shape. Him. Take him to the infirmary! Don't Summon the joy. medics! We have to save him. Hang on, Ator. We won't let you go. You hear me? Get moving. Better hope Ader survives. We lost too many people in Old Villador. Jack will do all he can to find out who did this. I hope Nader survives. He's one of our most dead. Like no, Stephen. No filthy herb brother will decide my husband's fate. Is that why you got a medical degree? To go running to quacks for magic cures? Listen, we don't have medicine. Herbs are our only chance. My husband has fought for you for years. You must get medicine for him, not some herbs that might poison him. <sighs> Time to go, kids. How is he? Ator is strong, but he needs medicine, and that, unfortunately, we don't have. We did the best we could with what we have. After the chemical attack, some plants gained healing properties. They worked like an antibiotic. But still, I... People here have strong opinions about healers, but you can hardly blame them. The folk healers give sound advice, but it can prove difficult to follow correctly. Misremember something, gather the wrong herb, or use the wrong dosage, and instead of medicine, you administer poison. Which has happened plenty. Because if somebody messes up one of the steps of the recipe, it could kill him. Exactly. But it's enough to listen carefully to the healer's instructions and follow them. The herbalist I know, she's talented. She's Ator's only hope. And what's his wife's problem? Superstitions die hard. Margaret has helped many people everywhere. Some just don't want to admit it. Think I can help? You'd be doing us a big favor. What happened in old Velador is terrible. We've lost so many people. As far as I know, Ator is our only witness. So if he dies, we don't find out what happened there. Exactly. Right, where can I find this healer? On COVID Island. Don't worry. You can trust Marker. It's an emergency. Somebody there? Who's there? I have a man in dire need of a healer. Shh. She's asleep. Will she be awake soon? It's an emergency. Always an emergency. Like the time that young woman needed a potion to induce labor. And the guy who needed a salve for his hernia and... What else was there? Please wake her up. A man's life is in danger. It better be. If I find out he just has a hangover, I'll wake her up. But you'll still have to wait. Haven't seen you before. How'd you know where to find us? From the Peacekeepers. Then you've come to the wrong healer. Get out. Haven't you all made her suffer enough? And now those renegades. They'd been a ceasefire for years. They left us alone. And then, all of a sudden, they went mad. Where were you when they were taking over the island? For the first time. We really needed you, and what? You didn't come. And they're gone. I just took care of them. I don't believe you. You're lying. Just to get what you want. Like all peacekeepers. Do we have a visitor, Gerard? I'll be there in a moment. 
It's a peacekeeper. Well, I'm not a peacekeeper. I'm only trying to help one. All the same to me. Let him in, Gerard. I'm just a messenger. A doctor sent me. His name's Stephen. Doctors shun folk healers these days. Using a folk remedy would harm his reputation. It already has. He sent me to you against the wishes of the man's family. Gerard? Yes? You said there was a man. He saved us from the renegades. Is this the man? What's your name, boy? Aiden. So... You are the one who saved us. We owe you a great debt. And who is the dying man? His name's Ader. He's a high-ranking officer. Margaret, don't. If something goes wrong, you'll be blamed again. But if this goes well, perhaps it's a chance to help more people. Blamed again? What do you mean? The last peacekeeper to ask me for help blamed me for his own incompetence. Gave his wounded soldiers the wrong herb. Despite my clear instructions. And several died. Blamed it all on me. I'm only still alive because Jack Matt deigned to be merciful. Decided it was a tragic accident. He spared my life. But took my eyes. Does this mean you'll help me? I'm out of the herbs you need, but I can tell you where to find them. You'll be looking for a flower called the Recluse. It thrives in soil soaked in toxic sludge. You will be able to pick it up safely only at night, when its petals glow. But it's not enough to simply pick it willy-nilly. Only the small petals have the healing qualities. Beware of the big ones. They contain deadly poison. Can you remember that? Small petals heal, big ones poison. I'll remember. We'll regret this, I assure you. Hey, Luan, I need your help. Sure you do. What's up? I'm looking for an herb. It's called the recluse. Oh, uh, yeah. I'm familiar with it. I think those funny flowers grow by the canal, north of All Saints Bridge. That's where I'd look. It's a lead. How's the patient? He's starting to wake up. Thank you for your help. You can go. Wait! What's going on here? You went to the witch, didn't you? To this... Margaret! She gave me herbs that might help him. She's not a witch. There's no such thing as witches. That's superstition. Superstition? Witchcraft is a crime! Please. Just calm down. What's happening? We're losing him. Aiden, give me those herbs. I forbid it. Keep that witch's poison away from I him. I can give him an injection to stabilize him, but it won't last long. Did you tell her who the medicine was for? She killed his men. She should have hanged for that, but Jack Mac had ate or burn her eyes out instead. What? Did you tell her? She'll have given you poison. I guarantee it. Aiden, give me the herbs, damn it. Wait, I, I need to check with somebody. Make it fast. Hey, Luan, you there? Aiden? What's going on? Do you know anything about recluse petals? Petals? There was something... Wait, Frank told me once. 
Some were medicinal. Which ones? The small ones. The small. The, the small ones heal. That's what I remember. Thanks. I was afraid someone might have misled me. Aiden, what's going on? I'll tell you later. Sorry. So, what are we gonna do? Give him these. You sure about that? I said give him this. There's no time. Give him the shot. I need some air. You should have given me the herbs. What's gonna happen to him now? Not sure. The shot just stabilized his condition. Without some serious medicine, he may just stay in a coma. Just... just leave Aiden. Here's the medicine is as effective as I'd hoped. He needs his rest. We should all leave him be. I... I won't be far. It looks like you had Margaret pegged. She didn't want to poison him after all. Yes, seems that way. And what'll happen to him now? If all goes well, he should start to wake up soon. And then we'll find out who did this to him. All thanks to you. Rather enjoy his cabin. Hey, then Matt? What's up? I wanted to officially thank you. Aiden's back on his feet. If it wasn't for you, he'd still be in a coma. Or worse. I'm glad he's better. Me too. Only he knows what happened in old Philidor. And soon, thanks to you, I'll know as well. Over and out.